the owner of the property might not be capable of selling it themselves. Isn't the same power of attorney and trust? Well, it, it all depends. It's in trust is different. It's a release point different than the power of attorney. So you're looking at power of attorney, which means that they handed it to somebody else to sell it for them, to be responsible. Okay. So there could be somebody elder, it could be a young child or underage, you know, or somebody that's very sick and they, they can't do it themselves. So those could be opportunities that you have to investigate from somebody. So the other way of a power of sale, of course, is now to find the word power of sale, right? As we understand, the sale, we can turn around and say, okay, hmm, the actual seller, right? Uh, which is the seller, let's go back to the seller names, sometimes has the word POS. Correct? Power of sale. Or some agents prefer to say P.O.S. Or sometimes the agents want to say P space O space S. Do you understand now that so just by typing one, you're not going to get all of them? It all depends. It's hey, it's open. You can do whatever you like in there. So now if you do a count, of course you'll find nothing there. Okay? So no power sales that are meant. Or let's do this one more, the, the best one, power of sale. Nothing. Okay. Sorry? Oh, sorry. Yes, you're right. Very nice. Now when we come in, we will see that it's a false positive, and this is Esposito, POS, right in the middle of her name, right? As Postum comes up, and some other names, unfortunately, Posterado, you know what, these are not power sales. Do not send them out to your friends saying that this is power sales. <laughs> they go to somebody from Poland. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, so let's go back into the search. I'm going to go into flex search one more time. And I'm going to show you now <coughs> some other opportunities for you to consider. Okay. So, as you can see here, I have certain searches that I built that are interesting, right? And what I want to promote out there and what I want to capture clients for. So, for example, if I want to see the expired commercial daily, right, and I want to use this. I say last status is expired or terminated. And last update, I'll tell you what this means. Um, if I want to see a last update, let's do a, an expiry date. Let's do an expiry, do I have an expiry? I don't. I want to show you this, uh, not many know it. Expiry date. So when I say an expiry date, I can turn around and write the actual date. I can say expiry date is 12 slash 21 slash 2013, right? Well, I can say the same thing by using the term T, as in time, okay? And you do T plus three, means in three days from now, or T minus five, goes five days backwards, okay? So if I don't remember and whatever, I can say T, and I'll, okay, I can say T minus uh, three to T, which means three days ago to now, and it'll pop up the specific Okay, just another interesting little to read it if you want to read it. Here. So here I'm looking, for example, for commercial that expire minimum 400,000. I can change it and I can say, no, I want it 1 million or more, right? And then I can submit it, I select an area. Now these are older, so I would say all of Toronto, or I can say all of Ontario, if I wanted everything under a over a million. is that they haven't expired. Maybe that is the case, okay? So remember, you have to play with the dates to know exactly what is working here. So I can revise the criteria, and I can turn around and say, what's well, going to expire in two days? Okay, this 
is an old church. I can say find lots under 150,000, right? Between 50 and 150 that are detached, right? Let me just delete this. Do you see that? I can find land. So if you're into land sales, you can turn around and put a search that just gives you vacant land. See that? So if you want to specialize in land, you search by this. Let's go back, return to results, and go back, revise criteria. Fixer uppers. Now this is interesting, right? Because some people say fixer, and some people say fixer. Now, there's three areas where you notice information being put. Which is the first one that we actually enter information into? What's it called? What's the field called? Remarks for clients. Remarks for clients. Okay. So the first area is the remarks for clients. The second area is called? Extras. Extras. Of course. The third one is called? Remarks for brokerages. Okay. So remarks for brokerages are only the ones that show uh, to the builders. But there's still some information in there sometimes. The first two are what we're interested in. So if there was a word called fixer, Right? You want it to be either in the remarks for clients or the remarks or, or the extras, right? Whatever is on the top two. And that's what we usually search for. Right? So what we're gonna see here is that we're gonna see the remarks for clients, and then we're gonna search for these two terms as if there was a fixer upper. And there is a listing, a one listing. So let's take a look and see what this is, right? And it'll say there's fixer. Fixers and hardwood floors are green. Okay, so this is not really a fixer upper. Okay? But it did say price for quick sale, which is another interesting little key term that we'll use our research for. Because price for quick sale means, okay, I'm desperate to sell somehow. Maybe I purchase. So these are little triggers that, you know, some of us use in the listings to make sure that others understand to bring us any offer or bring us an offer. Okay, so you have to read these specifically. So let's go back to results. Let's go back to revised criteria. Don't go back because sometimes it resets everything and you have to start all over again. So if I want now grow houses, what would I search for? Now, this is a difficult one because there is a word grow, right? And most likely they will not put it up in the top in the remarks and the extras. They'll put it in the bottom where it says previously grow house, right? So if we see a count, there's 11. Now, it doesn't matter. They're not all grow houses for sure. Now, some people say it's for a growing family or something to that effect, right? <laughs> Great for, for growing family, exactly. So perfect for growing family. Maybe this is the same person, right? <laughs> growing family. So anyway. These ones you have to do a little bit of search. There's still there's a grow up, yeah. Right there. There's a grow up on title, okay? So this one, some people might want to buy it. There are less and less opportunities of this nature because they're all remediated, usually. But there might be uh, previous grow houses, especially when it's just land and if the actual government locks them down or the city, that is the best deal because you save 20, 30,000 for the cremation process. Right? So previous grow houses, These are for renovators that want to come in. There's fi fixer uppers. There's uh, uh, other terms that we can use, right? Let's go back to return to results, revise criteria. And now, what I do with one, two, three is that I just actually use different. Now it's remarks for clients. Then I put it in extra. So I search all three sections for that term. That's why you see these three times over and over. So if I come to lease to own A, I'm going to go here and I'm going to say the extras contain lease to own. So if I count it, there are none that popped up. If I go use B, use, right, there is one that says lease to own. If I go into Fort Ellie Drive and I look, where's the lease? There it is. 
lease to own. Land in there. So if you're working the lease to own market, which is a good market if you have a good partner, right? This is one of the properties that you might be able to suggest. The lease to own brings a lot of people in that have damaged credit. Not all of them are good, but if you do have a system where you can put them through and find them a property, they're actually very profitable. Here's a power of sale. So if I do a power of sale, for example, East Condos Hall, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna show you what I researched and found. And there's maybe more of these. So it contains credit, CMHC, right? CMHC puts it on. National, there's a term national that doesn't include the rent. CMHC with dot. Trust, finance, financing, financier, finance whatever. POS, mortgage, union. See how I don't put the whole word? I told you earlier, more, less is more, right? It gets, it gets you more information. Receiver, appoint, partner, investment industries, bank, POS, industrial, POS, power. So the industrial, for example, on a commercial will be a problem. And then I put down all the terms and what I want. So if I turn and find, there's nothing there that contains these, for these areas, okay? So there, it looks like there are no. Power of sales in there. Right. I can do homes over 300. Same counts. There's, I might be wrong here, but they gave us quite a few power of sales. A little surprised. Well, I guess, well, for these things, I guess maybe there aren't that many power of sales out there. See this? This is a TD Bank, 43 days on the market, and they already did a price check. See that? Under power of sales. So it looks like the East End is suffering a bit. Right? In the home market, not in the condo. Here's an executor, Royal Trust Corporation. Three Capital. Here's another one. Five days on the market, it's still new, right? Small defined, these guys, oh, they're just investment people. So we put the word investments. Mortgagee in possession is another term for power of sales, right? This one too. This might be a power of sale. Then you have to look. No electricity in buildings. Interesting. <laughs> then you'll have to come to the schedule sometimes and see what exactly is going on. Right? If you see that it says additional schedules to be attached, you'll know that it's a power of sale. So that's another indication. Okay. Any questions? Did you guys understand all this? Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Who's, who thinks that they are capable of actually going in and setting this up on their own show. Yes? Anybody else? Anybody who feels that they cannot do it? That needs a little bit more information? No? Okay. We're trying it, Mike. We yeah. could. Good. <laughs> so set it up, as you can see here. Sold as is was another one that I told you. There's the power of sale, power of sale out of town. There are lease to owns, grow houses, fixer uppers, lots under 150. Here's another one lots to be severed. So depending on uh, the location, if you find, for example, in East York, a lot that's 60 feet wide, right? Right now, you can split it in three, most likely, for where it is. So th opportunities like that, when you see a big lot that can be severed, you might want to take that to a builder that you're servicing, right? So they put this in flat, remark, or usually? Well, you'd look at the frontage now. So you're going to turn it around and say, find me every property that comes up in this area, which you know that if there are areas that are up to 20, 30, right? Give me anything that's 60 that comes up on the market that can't be divided, and then you just go after it. If, that's, if it's an area like that, like East York, anybody would buy a 60 foot and, and divide it into three. Because now they go up to 16 feet wide, or even 12 feet wide, you know, in certain areas, which is crazy, but they do. Okay? You want to take a break? We're going to continue in a few minutes.